हेलो एवरीवन वी हैव गैदर्ड हियर एट विज्ञान भवन फॉर वर्ल्ड होम्योपैथी डे 2021 एंड राइट नाउ आई हैव विथ मी प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर ए के गुप्ता ही इज़ द फाउंडर डायरेक्टर ऑफ ए के जीज ओम विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होम्योपैथी एंड एलाइड साइंसेज सर हैज़ ऑल्सो बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग सिंस नाइनटीन एंड हैज़ गैदर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस वी वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू Sir, the first question you would like to ask you is: In your field of practice, what do you think is the scope of homeopathy, not only as a prophylactic for COVID-19, but also for treatment of such cases? Ah, uh, well, as you know that homeopathy has been a science which has been working right from the last more than 200 years, and it has already covered been couple of epidemics in the past. Ah, uh, in this particular COVID time. i mean uh, the arsenic album with the advisory which has come through the uh, ccrh and the ministry of ayush has really done a wonders in as far as working for the prophylactic and uh, when we talk about the treatment part it's not only the arsenic there have been other medicines which we have found to be very effective which we have treated in i mean in our own clinics and found to be effective and if the patients some I men are given uh, this uh, medication uh, in the beginning of the problems certainly i mean uh, uh, patient would not fall into that kind of a category where the disease becomes severe or disease becomes i mean problematic where the patient has to be hospitalized or has to put on a ventilator but unfortunately the i mean patient i mean comes to a homeopathic uh, doctor at a very later stage and uh, during this pandemic i mean uh, the fear psychosis has been another problem which has been uh, in the grip and uh, the uh, non knowledge of i mean how to tackle because it's been a new virus there has been no much of i mean awareness about the i mean uh, how it has come and uh, what are the things and moreover since it has been mutating fast so things have not been very very clear and on the top of it even this uh, from the modern medicine unfortunately when uh, in the very beginning the ministry of health has said that uh, homeopathy or ayu system they do not have any Uh, treatment for such kind of a disease so which had taken a back stage but uh, after the i mean the advisory people have started taking it and uh, over a period of time when this uh, uh, people those who have been in the hospital uh, they have taken homeopathic medicines so they have been able to shorten their i mean uh, stay at the hospital and the complications have been averted to a greater extent right yes. sir sir during this pandemic uh, arsenic alb has been distributed to the masses by the yeah. government ngos medical colleges etc mm-hmm. so this has created a lot of awareness within the country about homeopathy in general yeah. do, do you think this will help in the integration of homeopathy with other systems of medicine uh, well it is it is a, a question of uh, acceptance right. and being receptive right. uh, there have been i mean two sides of a coin always like those people who have started with arsenic album in the very beginning and they have been able to i mean uh, take care of themselves as well as their patients and at the same time when there was a wave was there people had uh, got covid and unfortunately there's not much of a data which has been collected that how many of them had been uh, in on this uh, arsenic album or how many of them had been only uh, restricting to kadas and all that or how many of them has been only in the vitamin c so if that data has been collected it would have been much easier and for everyone to understand as well as for the government to understand balki on the on the contrary i mean uh, long back in the very beginning i had uh, mentioned and i mean appeal to I mean, sent an appeal also that uh, be this is the right time for homeopathy to be put into the trial and if it is been the ccrh could have taken a step and i mean asked the government to give them a chance which was not uh, I mean happening at that particular time and had they given uh, and uh, taken an uh, i mean uh, uh, first step by offering to so probably i mean since there were a lot of restrictions they were not uh, i mean allowed in the beginning and later on they were allowed to the partial cases i mean with the asymptomatic cases or uh, patients with the I main uh, low symptoms or having no symptoms right. so and that too in adjuvant as i mean uh, uh, to the allopathic medicines so there could have been the possibility could have been there that this was a very very i mean right point where we could have got everything crystal clear right. uh because there was no treatment for in allopathy there is no treatment in homeopathy there was no treatment in ayurveda this is what has been 
I mean, propagate it. This is what was being told about. At that particular juncture, if the, there could have been a center, they could have, out of 100 people, they could have taken 50 people only totally on allopathy, 50 people on allopathy plus, I mean, uh, like uh, adjuvant uh, treatment, whether it was a homeopathy or Ayurveda, or there, was, uh, there could have been some, after seeing some benefit effect, that the I mean, group where uh, adjuvant therapy has been given along with homeopathy, so they could have been given exclusive, I mean, uh, group to be treated by homeopathy at one particular time and and at the time of case taking if those things would have been asked if they had taken any preventive right. we are not talking about I mean arsenic if they have taken any preventive which could have I mean uh, notified we could have collected a better data of uh, the efficacy of whether it was I mean arsenic album. and unfortunately what happened because the, the I mean fear came in such a manner people took everything People took, I mean, uh, uh, arsenic album, uh, the, the, the dose prescribed was for three days. But people took, I mean, uh, considering it, it's a, it's a human tendency and especially on our, I mean, Indian people, I mean, secondly, like, I mean, people have knowing this, that homeopathy does not so it is a, it is a, it's still, I mean, a lot of research has to be I mean, done in these cases. Ki all those data what we have collected, are they those people, those who have taken the prescribed dose or the one they have taken arsenic album arbitrarily. So now we cannot, until we have got a very clarity about it, <coughs> the one section <coughs> who has taken only the I mean, prescribed dose, one section who has taken randomly kabhi bhi lele or who have taken din mein char char chhe chhe doses bhi lele 30 ke bajaye 200 lele considering it because ek hamare yahan i mean ye ki dawai ko badha ke do achhi matlab aur zyada powerful ho jayegi 30 ke baad 200 lele to zyada immunity aa jayegi so this was a thing which which should have been i mean curtailed and made it very clear <coughs> Given couple couple of I mean uh, interviews which I had given I mean on the uh, TV and the uh, media also, ki like had there been a guidance, clear cut guidance, that would have been much better. Abhi ke aur ab I mean I'm using my word is a um, bhedchal. So bhedchal is a word which has been unfortunately had been happening. Ki kisi ko jisko jyo samajha usne wo le liya. Halaki Clarity government ko bhi nahi thi, clarity health ministry ko bhi nahi thi, clarity WHO ko bhi nahi hai. WHO ne kabhi kaha ki aaj HCQ deni zuri hai aur hafte baad kehte hain HCQ is useless. Remedy sir ki wo hai ki antiviral medicine, after that there is a study ki it is useless. So jab unke paas bhi koi wo nahi hai, koi fixed pattern nahi tha, that was the time they should have allowed these medicines to test. अभी क्या है क्योंकि आपको लेबल लगा कि आप हमारे पास नहीं है तो आपके पास कुछ नहीं इस चीज से हटा जाए तभी जा सकता है जब आप किसी चीज को अपॉर्चुनिटी दोगे जब आपको अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं दी तो उसको हाउ कैन यू लेबल दैट कि आपको ट्रीटमेंट है या नहीं एंड सेकंडली अगर अगर हम इस चीज को बात करने के लिए अगर आई मीन आने वाले टाइम में ये चीजें अगर हमारे पास क्लियर होती हैं वी गेट इन टू नो दैट दीज आर डेफिनेटली प्रिवेंटिव अभी जैसे आज की डेट में नाउ आई मीन द वैक्सीनेशन आर बीइंग गिवन and after vaccination, also people are getting COVID. People are getting, I mean, after the first dose, people are getting after the second dose. Now they have started saying that immunity ke liye di ja rahi hai. This does not guarantee. If you vaccination, ki baat, uski, aaj jo rahe, guarantee vaccination. So, TB ki bhi lag rahi hai. Tuberculosis, BC vaccination, kitne saal se chal rahi, but have the cases of I mean, TB stopped? No. But, but I mean, this is a, it's a very, very unfortunate part that the government or these policy people makers uh, they have got to be in a lobby i mean either it's a pharma lobby or whatever you may call it but it's the hard fact is this that whatever they dictate whatever they tell they just try to follow it the who start following it and giving it as a direction like today in their list there are so many vaccinations which have become mandatory whether it is a BCG, whether it is oral polio, whether, whether it is a DPT and all that, I mean, now you got chicken pox, you got, I mean, uh, for typhoid, you got uh, hepatitis, and every second year, uh, second year or third year, there's some new vaccine come because it has been from promoted by the pharma, so it has been pushed into this, I mean, uh, it has become an industry, which is a very unfortunate part, and, and there have been studies in the Japan and other places where, I mean, the 
bad effects of vaccination have been seen. The children are developing uh, autism and other kind of a problem. So I think we we should uh, look into the I mean in the broader I mean broader perspective. I'm not denying but the I mean use of it, but I'm certainly I mean not in the favor of pushing it unnecessarily, like making it I mean mandatory for everyone. And now 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 you you say that I mean uh, this, this thing has been taken and you are protected. Today they say you are not protected. You are likely to be, I mean, little safer than others. If at all COVID will happen to you, you will, you are supposed to be, or you are likely to be getting a milder symptom. It would last for a shorter period of time. This is what we had been saying. If homeopathic medicines have been given, which has, I mean, I mean, improves your vital energy to fight. This is what exactly happens if the constitutional treatment has been given, not only the arsenic album, but the constitutional treatment has been given, so he will be less, I mean, uh, vulnerable to get the kind of infection, and his, I mean, uh, uh, susceptibility would have been taken care of in that particular form, and he would become resistant to those kind of things which are causing a problem. Sir, given that there is a second wave of COVID right now across yeah. the country, and we may have another chance at doing further research, mm -hmm. what are the things that you would suggest would help homeopathy and clinicians such as you to give a better understanding of the therapeutics? Uh, well, it's a, it's a very, very important question and very valid question with the second wave coming at its vengeance. And uh, unfortunately, what has happened till last year, uh, there was cases were less, but fear was more. And today, what has become? The cases are more and the fear has become less. Either because of the, I mean, uh, I mean, variously, multiple reasons. I mean, because people in the lockdown, they lost their business, they lost their, I mean, problems and a uh, number of things, they could not move. So the, the life has become to almost a standstill. But at the same time, people have started realizing that if it's going to happen, Okay, the the so, so that kind of a attitude is not good. I think, I mean, we, it's, a, it's a, a matter of uh, time, then when we call it that ignorance is a bliss. But in this case, when the, I mean, initially, I mean, uh, this COVID came, there was an ignorance, people were not aware. But now it is not ignorance. We know the, I mean, lethal aspect of it. We need, I mean, uh, the, what kind of uh, damage it can give. If we still ignore, then this is not an ignorance, this is a negligence. And when we do a negligence, one has to pay a price for that, irrespective of, I mean, in the form of health, irrespective of the disease. So whatever it comes, we need to, I mean, work it out. And at this particular juncture, homeopathy, I think, stands a better chance because it has been widely, I mean, uh, circulated, widely known, and people who started uh, appreciating the uh, efficacy of homeopathy. I think we can really look into the, I mean, uh, uh, brighter side and CCRH, is working hard and we i wish that ccrh could come with much better i mean uh, guidelines to for the practitioners it's not only for the hospitals it, if it is the private practitioners are also given and those uh, uh, things are told in a particular manner and there's a uniformity because what happens is when the uniformity is not there there's a two different views so one section goes on this side the other section goes on this side so this is a good problem where we need to come up with the proper guidelines and proper protocols we do not have fixed kind of a protocols so that makes uh, us a little um, keep on our backside lastly i would like to ask your views on this year's whd and any suggestions for future conventions in years to come uh, well, I mean, um, uh, I first of all congratulate that uh, CCRH for this WHT2021, especially keeping the I mean, uh, theme, uh, homeopathy, the roadmap for the integrative medicine. Because I think, I mean, uh, integration is the order of the day, and the, the WHO has also started. And uh, incidentally, I mean, I consider myself to be a sort of a pioneer in this particular field when I started that Om Vida Institute of Homeopathy and Allied Medical Sciences in 1999. And that was a, my concept was there because there had been a very I mean, interesting story that uh, I had treated a patient of I mean, thyroid, I mean, uh, the patient went to the uh, all, all an Institute of Medical Sciences and then they said that nee, it is likely to be cancer. Then when the reports were came, though it's not a cancer, then the patient came back to me again. And then said, like, I mean, uh, uh, homeopathy can treat it. I said, yes. Uh, they had given them the patient for, I mean, uh, uh, 10 months course of minimum 
for this particular medicine and when the patient went back again and after becoming all right and they said okay you stop the medicine after taking 10 15 minutes uh, days more that was the time when the patient revealed that I did not take allopathic medicine, I took homeopathic medicine. And that time the patient was told by the doctor at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Kaibari wo apna bhi thik ho jata. Now this was a real problem that uh, the, those people, they did not realize that there could be any other medicine which could be also helpful for the patient. Okay, you do not want to appreciate, fine, but don't say that apna aap thik ho jata. Agar apna aap thik ho jata, to fir apne das mene ki dawa ki sali di. So, I mean, that was the thing I, I, I was having in my mind that we should have such place where people should come for their efficacy of the distant, I mean, different medicine and they should accept it open heartedly because that is for the welfare of the patient. You don't have to keep it for super basic because you don't have any knowledge about it, so you don't have any right to you don't have any right to condemn it also. You can condemn only once you know about it. So, अगर इस चीज में जो integration की बात है, अगर ये, I mean, आपस की better understanding करी जाए, हर, I mean, मेरा तो एक, I mean, मैंने बहुत पहले कहा था कि हम education level पे, अगर graduation level पे, हर, I mean, uh, undergraduate को हर system की basic knowledge provide करें, then he or she would be much better doctor. कि और जो जहाँ तक specialization की बात है, that can be done in the, I mean, uh, uh, post graduation cases. And uh, for this, I mean, uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, uh, uh, consulate, uh, I mean, CCRH for uh, conducting this uh, successfully. And we look forward for much more, I mean, Thank such you, kind sir. of. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. And I would like Thank to you. wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank all you the so best. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.